Hi guys, today we're going to install this Ericsson wheel chock and strap kit. The box comes with four wheel chocks and two ratchet straps. It does not come with the nuts and bolts. Typically you do about two tires on your ATV. We're going to do all four on both. So let's take a look at what we've done so far. We've pulled our ATVs up. We've placed the wheel chocks in place. On this particular trailer, which is a Big Tex 14 by seven, we know that the wood is two inches thick. So we have three inch bolts. We're gonna drill our holes, secure these, uh, and then we'll take it from there. So we just went around, marked the holes, all that we could get to. And our hopes with this is when we're using this ratchet strap system around the tire, that we're not pulling our shocks down and torquing our vehicles in different ways. Sometimes in the past, on our old trailer with our other ATVs, we'd hit a bump, shocks go down, the strap would come off even though we had it really tightened up good, and you'd, we had to pull over and retighten it on or something like that. Hopes on this is we can get a pretty good snug fit, ratchet it down around these tires, and be good to go. Now we're gonna slide the shocks out of the way, pull the ATVs off, get our drill bit out, and start drilling all these holes. This is us part way through. You can see, getting some drilling done. We're getting there. We didn't put all the way the, the bolts and everything through yet. I actually didn't buy enough the first time, just had to go buy some. I think it's time I get back over there on the drill. Here we are, making progress, putting all the bolts through the top, down towards the bottom. All our holes drilled, everything marked. These top eight here are all the way attached. Now we're working on these bottom eight. Make sure you buy enough hardware. Of course, you can see there is six bolts per chock. So we, we put a lock washer under it and then a locking nut and a big washer underneath. We originally had different bolts um, that were zinc plated and it's supposed to be much better for weathering and they just weren't working for us. So we went out and got these. So we got all of the wheel chocks down. We put the bolts through with a lock washer and then we have a pretty good sized washer underneath with a locking nut. We've tightened them all down. We found it was a lot easier to use a drill. One person held underneath, the other one drilled down, whatever way it works for you. The total project from pulling the quads up here, marking it, Getting to this point took us about two and a half hours. Could have went a lot quicker. I only bought half the hardware I needed. Why, I don't know. So we had to run to the hardware store, come back, touch it up. So it did take us today about two and a half, three hours. We think we could have went a little quicker. We're also filming and didn't get enough hardware. I'm gonna pull the quad up now and see how it fits. We haven't tried it yet, here we go. One more. Perfect. We're in. We'll put it neutral, see how it fits. Let's take a look. Come on over. Perfect. We're going to put it neutral. Turn it off. Let's see how they fit and strap them down. Real quick to show how this works, the strap's not on. So you remember, you take the, the lock side here, you pull it in, lock will go in first. So we're gonna take the lock side down, we're gonna put the lock in first, and then it's, it's locked in there, so it's really neat. Then you can pull this strap when it's not locked to get the length you feel comfortable with, so you can get down on your side. You pull this in, goes in first. Now it's locked in, you tug your strap just a little, kind of make sure it's straight and all that kind of good stuff. That quick. So how long it takes, not really rushing or anything, it takes 30 seconds, tops. Really, really holds nice without any undue pressure or anything. So you can just imagine if all four wheels were, were all locked down, really look good. And just real quick, um, before we go, 
you saw we, we kind of torqued it down a little bit and you say, well, how the heck do you get them off? You basically just pull this down, pull it up, see how it came undone. You can even kind of yank it. Always just unlock it and then it comes out opposite. So when you're gonna put it in, the lock side goes in first, push down. When you're gonna take it out, just pull it. Other side comes out, pull up. Done. Of course, we are doing all four. So we're just doing two here because we're gonna take them off in just a minute. It just gives you an idea. Again, it takes, once it's on and you wanna strap one down on the tire, we're not all seasoned veterans with this quite yet and it still only takes us about 30 seconds per tire. So you're only looking at a couple minutes and you're again, you're not doing all that frame pulling and stuff. So uh, we haven't really pulled through the mountains or anything yet, but we will. And so far, so good. We really like them.